Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I have a pretty crucial video for you today. How to flash a custom recovery and to root the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S9. I have here a normal S9. It's the same thing if you have a S9 Plus or an S9 Dual SIM. All the Exynos based variants will work beautifully with this method. Do not try them on Snapdragon powered Samsung Galaxy S9 devices. It's quite a simple process overall and I will take you through it step by step. Make sure you do not miss any steps as this may lead to failure and ultimately to breaking your device in very rare cases. So the requirements for this process, once again, this is only for the Exynos based S9 devices. You have to install the Samsung drivers. You have to download Odin 3.13.1, the latest version as of now. You have to download the latest TWRP TAR file for your device. So there's a specific TAR file for the S9 Plus and another for the S9. And also you need to have the latest Novarity zip file to fix the states of OEM lock, RMM and FRP. If you also want root, you need to download the Magisk zip file, preferably the latest, along with the Magisk Manager APK that needs to be installed directly onto the OS. Of course, the links for all these are in the description. Make sure you download them from my description if you want to follow the process that I will present in this video. Now to get to the most interesting part, so Samsung has introduced something new with this Android Oreo which is called RMM or Remote Mobile Manager. This is supposed to bring some new theft protection mechanisms and at the same time it doesn't allow you to do the first step when you basically activate the device for the first time. The first step in the custom recovery flashing process is to tick the OEM unlock box. How do you do this? You simply go into settings, about phone and then software information and now you tap on the build number until the developer mode turns on. After you're done with this the developer options will be displayed right here on the bottom. Click on it and then OEM unlock should be here. If it's not this means you're in the pre-normal period this is a seven day period in which the OEM unlock box isn't here. So theoretically after activating the device, after going through the setup wizard for the first time, seven days need to pass in order for this OEM unlock to pop up here and for you to be able to take it. In my case, it was here from the beginning. So I think this is only for some devices. You may be lucky as me and you may have it from the beginning. So tick the OEM unlock box you will be requested to reset the device. This is a standard procedure. You will click OK, the device will restart and it will restore to factory settings. At this point, you should have already the Samsung drivers installed on your Windows device. You should have the Odin opened and the latest TWRP TAR file prepared. Now, to get to the PC part, you need to reboot the device to download mode, hold volume down, Bixby and power at the same time, for a few seconds you should simply tap the volume up button and now you're in download mode you have some info here and you can clearly see that FRP lock is off and OEM lock is off so they're both all right now comes the trickiest part which is actually very very simple connect the phone to the PC preferably with a genuine Samsung cable. At this point, you should open Odin on your PC. You should see a COM port here after the device has been connected. Now go to the AP here, click on it, select the TWRP TAR file. In my case, it's the STAR LTE because I have a normal Galaxy S9, not the S9 Plus. Click open. Immediately before clicking start, you need to grab the device and press the following combination. Volume up, Bixby and power. 
keep the combination pressed, press start as well and keep those three keys pressed until the TWRP logo pops up, just like I'll do right now. Now we keep pressing the combination and we now have the TWRP flashed onto the device. If it doesn't work, just make sure you open Odin with admin rights, otherwise it might not be able to read the tar file from your hard drive. After TWRP has booted up, select keep read only and then go to wipe, format data and type in yes. Back, back, back and now we boot once again into recovery. Now TWRP is properly flashed and you're ready to flash the DM Verity and Force Encryption Disabler zip file directly from TWRP. First you need to copy the file onto the device. You have a few options. You can copy it directly like here through MTP. You place the file somewhere on the internal memory. You can place it on an external SD card and install it from there or of course you can install it via ADB as well. I would suggest one of the first two options, they are the simplest ones. Once you've copied the file onto your device, just click install, select the zip file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now you're ready to install root if you're interested in that. Do the same thing, copy the Magisk zip file onto the device, go to install, select it and then swipe to confirm flash. Once you're in the ROM itself, you can also install the APK and then you're done with it. So this was basically it. Right now you can install whatever custom ROMs you want. Just beware, this process will wipe the device, so make sure you have a backup before trying it. And that's about it. If you have any questions or suggestions or uncertainties, please feel free to write them in the comment box below. You will find all the necessary files in the description below. And yeah, good luck flashing. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. If you enjoyed the video, press the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe by clicking right here in the bottom left part. Thank you so much once again for watching, I wish you a good day, bye!